Hello everyone. When scalping on small frames, you may think that market volatility is the only enemy, but the commission that the platform sucks out of your account remains the biggest enemy. For this, and because trading on Bybit has become with zero fees, I recommend trading on it, as every cent in scalping may make a difference. In this strategy we will look for accuracy and a large number of trades, and to achieve this, we will use two indicators to find the signal, and two indicators to confirm it, one of which will determine the direction of the small trend, and the other, will determine the direction of the larger trend. And to know more, let's start from the beginning. This strategy works on 15 minute and 5 minute frames, but after trying it for a while, I found that it is recommended to use it on a 15 minute frame, and do not worry, the number of signals will be many, and it may reach more than 10 signals per day. Well, let's choose a 15 minute frame. Then, go to the indicator box and search for the commodity channel index. You can find it by typing CCI in the search field, then choose this one which you will find under the technical section here. Using the CCI indicator is similar to the relative strength index. When we find that the indicator line has reached the oversold area, we will look for buying opportunities, and when we find that the indicator has reached the overbought area, we will look for selling opportunities, and so on. But for the sensitivity of scalping, we will make some simple changes to the shape of this indicator. We open the indicator settings, and in the style section, we change the line to columns. We also change the color of these lines to red, and do not ignore this step, it is very important, as for the middle line and background color, you can cancel it from here. It is also recommended to use lines instead of dashes, because we need complete clarity when dealing with this indicator. Now, as you can see, when the blue bars are pointing down, this means that they are in the oversold area, and whenever we see that their size is starting to decrease, this indicates a change in the direction of the trend. Conversely, when the bars are facing upwards, and their size begins to get smaller, this means that they are in the overbought area, and a reversal may occur at any moment. The second indicator in this strategy will be the Pokey indicator, which was created by Raphael Zioni. After applying the Pokey indicator to the chart, you may not find it like this, so open its settings, and from the style section, untick all colors and lines. Now that we have implemented the two signal indicators, let's look for confirmation indicators. The first confirmation indicator will be the super trend indicator, and it is recommended to use this indicator, which is under the technical section here. It is also a good idea to make sure that the settings are 10 and 3. The second confirmation indicator will be the EMA 50 indicator. The EMA 50 indicators on TradingView are many, but I prefer to use a 10 in 1 indicator, as for you, you can use whatever you want. And always make sure that the settings are correct, here, we have to choose EMA, and here, the number must be 50. Now that we have finished preparing the chart and indicators, let's talk about the conditions and rules. First, short positions. Well, this signal worked, but let's start with the easy examples and then come back to it. And let's take this little candle here. The first condition is to see a sell signal from the pokey indicator. The second condition is that the signal candle must be closed below the moving average. The third condition, the super trend must be red, and the signal candle should be below it. And once all of these conditions are met, we check the CCI indicator. If we find that the bar opposite the signal candle does not exceed the red line, this means that the signal has been confirmed, but if it crosses the red line, the signal is fake. And this means that this signal has been confirmed. Well let's see another example. Here we see a pokey signal above this candle. We also see that the super trend is red. As for the moving average, we see that the signal candle has closed below it. So, let's check the CCI bar. As you can see, this bar opposite the signal candle did not cross the red line. And this also means the signal has been confirmed. Here we find the pokey signal, and we find that the signal candle is under the super trend. But when we see closer, we notice that this candle has closed above the moving average. As for the CC indicator, it crossed the red line, and here we see that it has crossed it upwards, and this is what I will explain to you in a minute. But in general, this signal is considered false, because it closed above the moving average. Now, before we talk about buying positions, let me explain the story of the short signals and the columns. All the modes you see here are confirmation modes for entering the short position. But when these bars cross the lower line and are in the oversold area, the confirmation will be invalidated and the sell signal will be fake. As for the long signals, all the signals you see here are good confirmation signals, but when they cross the upper red line, they become false signals. And this because the market has entered the overbought area. Now let's go back to the chart and see the long positions and other signals. 
to see the signals clearly, let's use the cross pointer tool. Well, here we see a buy signal that closed above the moving average, but unfortunately it was below a super trend, so we will consider it a false signal. Here, too, we find a false sell signal. As for here, we find a buy signal in the right place, it closed above the moving average, and it is also above the super trend. So, let's check the CCI indicator. As you can see, CCI is an oversold area, so, we will not enter. Here we also see a good signal, but when we check the CC indicator, we see that the column corresponding to the signal candle has crossed the red line, so we will not use it. Let's go ahead and see other examples. Here we find a candle in the right place, and the pokey signal has appeared below it, as it is above the moving average and above the super trend, so, let's check the CCI bars. Well, here we got a confirmation, because the bar opposite the candle did not cross the red line, so, the signal is confirmed. Here we find a sell signal, but it is in a bad place. As for here, we find another buy signal, which is in the right place, so we will check the CCI indicator. And the signal has also been confirmed. Let's see more examples until we master the method of entry. Here is another buy signal, which is in the right place, but when we check the CCI indicator, we find that it has another opinion. Here too, we find some other signals that are clearly fake. This may be a good one, but unfortunately it has not been confirmed by the CCI indicator. As for here, the candle closed below the moving average, it is also under the red zone of the super trend, and when we check the CCI indicator, we find that it is also confirmed. Well, there are many signals, and most of them are successful, but let me explain one more thing so you can understand better. Here we see a signal candle, and we see that most of its body is above the moving average, well, this does not matter, all that matters is that it closed below the moving average, as we know the red candles close from below. And here on the contrary, the green candles are closed from above, so the body does not matter, and all that matters is the place of closing. And this means that this candle and the previous candle are valid for entry. Now to take profit and stop loss. Here we get a buy signal, so we will place the stop loss just below the super trend indicator, and the profit ratio will be 1 to 1.5, it also can be 1 to 2, but this depends on your experience and calculations. As for entering into short positions, just do the opposite. There is another thing, if you are a beginner, this thing does not concern you, but if you are advanced, you may benefit from this touch to the maximum. In the CCI settings, change the band's values, the first value to 120, and the second value also to 120. And this will push the indicator to the maximum limit, but beware, you will also be accompanied by fake signals. But how do we push the whole strategy to the maximum limits of trading, is that also possible? Of course, since the large part of the chart is candles, then anything is possible. I know I've taken up a lot of your time, but let me tell you this secret. This strategy does not depend on the pokey indicator, although it is one of the best indicators, but it does not depend on it. This strategy depends on the filtering system, from the moving average line and the super trend, to the CCI indicator. So you can replace the pokey indicator with any other good indicator. For example, we can use the engulfing candles indicator. Since these indicators depend on the moving average 50, we do not need it, and we can cancel it, because we already have one on the chart. After applying this indicator, let's see some additional signals. I will speed up the video a bit and you can see the large number of signals that appeared on the chart and of course, they can be filtered as we did with the pokey indicator. Well what I would like to say, the indicators that can be used with this system are many, you can use the QQE indicator, Bollinger Bands with signals, or Public SAR, they all work and can be used with this strategy. Finally, if you have any buy and sell indicator that can be used with this system, I hope you share it in the comments so that everyone can benefit from this strategy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck.